Good morning, we'll understand a very fundamental difference between what is a national park, a wildlife sanctuary and a biosphere reserve. So let's first start with what is a wildlife sanctuary. Wildlife sanctuary is an area where animals are allowed to remain in their natural environment. There is no interference that is done with the animals and the organisms that are present there. This area which is a wildlife sanctuary can be a private area or a public area and could be maintained by a private body or a public body. There are more than 400 plus wildlife sanctuaries that we say are present in India. Under the IUCN classification that is the International Union for Conservation of Nature, we have category 4 where we define the wildlife sanctuaries. These wildlife sanctuaries can be upgraded to national parks. The wildlife sanctuaries you do not have, uh, you do have the rights that are allowed, a limited amount and a controlled amount of uh, activities are allowed in a wildlife sanctuary. When we come on to national park, again this is meant for the preservation of the natural uh, phenomena or the conservation of animals and wildlife in that region. But these national parks are maintained only by the central government. So be it any country, these are maintained by the central authorities or the central organization, the central government. And here you have uh, in India around 100 plus national parks that we say that are present. Now there are no rights that are allowed for the national parks under the IUCN classification we say they are lying in the category 2 of the classification. Similarly for these national parks as I said they cannot be upgraded, uh, they cannot be downgraded to wildlife sanctuaries. Once they are declared as a national park the center has the responsibility to take care of the national parks. So these could be having a kind of reserved or a protected area. There is a slight difference between a reserved and a protected area. When I say protected area that there is a limited degree of activity that is allowed. And also you have outside activities which are not allowed. However, under a reserved area, there is a full protection that is granted and there is no outside activity that is allowed. So that's a basic difference between a limited and a reserved area, a protected and a reserved area. Coming back to the last that is the biosphere reserve. Now these biosphere reserves are basically meant for sustainable development, for logistics development and for research and training. There are three parts that are there for a biosphere, the core, the buffer and the transition. So transition that's the outermost is also known as marginal or the area of cooperation. The innermost that is the core, you have no hunting activity, no poaching activity that is allowed. The outer area that's there which is the buffer area, you do have education, training, research activities that are allowed in the buffer zone and then in the transition you do have human settlements meant for tourism, recreation and so on. In India so far we have 18 biosphere reserves that are declared. The first biosphere reserve that was declared was the Nilgiris. Now Nilgiris, the first biosphere reserve was declared in 1986. These biosphere reserves are part of UNESCO's MAB program that's the Man and Biosphere program. Nilgiri is lying in three states that is Kerala, Tamil Nadu and Karnataka state and is the first one. Next to it was the Nanda Devi that was declared. Now very interesting thing is you have certain states which do not have any biosphere reserve. For example, the state of Rajasthan, you don't have any biosphere reserve that are seen. In Northeast, you interestingly have a lot of biosphere reserves. No Creek is found in Meghalaya. Then you have the Bang Dihang in Arunachal Pradesh. In uh, Assam, you have two important ones that is the Manas and the Dibru. Similarly, in Sikkim, you have Kanjanjanga. Uh, you have three, bi uh, three biosphere reserves that are seen in Madhya Pradesh. Those are Panna, Panchamari and Amarkantak. This Panna was the last one to be declared as a biosphere reserve. Uh, the 18th biosphere reserve we would say. Before that you had Shesa Selam that was declared. This was the 17th biosphere reserve that was declared. And this biosphere reserve lies in the state of Andhra Pradesh. Now you have... Gulf of Manar that lies in Tamil Nadu. 
Agastamalle lies between two states that is Kerala and Tamil Nadu. You have Great Nicobar in the state of uh, in the state uh, in the Union Territory of Andaman and Nicobar. Similarly, in the state of Gujarat, you have Kutch. You have cold desert that's basically the region of the pine national forest uh, that's lying in Himachal Pradesh, Nanda Devi in Uttarakhand. So those are your major biosphere reserves. Two have been left that we forgot to discuss. You have the Simlipal in Odisha and Sundarpans in the areas where you have the Ganga Brahmaputra Delta uh, that converge, the Ganga Brahmaputra rivers that converge, you have the Sundarban Deltas and there you have the Sundarban Biosphere Reserve. As I said, these biosphere reserves fall under the IUCN category 5. So again very very important the category of the IUCN classification under which they fall and the basic differences that we have talked about for the three things that's the National Park, Wildlife Century and the Biosphere Reserve will be upcoming with more such important topics for your India geography. Basically a static GK which forms a major component for most of your competitive exams in your upcoming classes. So stay tuned have a very great day ahead.